Let me express that another way. If we look at this by the age groups I talked about a minute ago, if we look at it by 18 to 24, or 25 to 34, or 35 to 54, 18 to 24 and 25 to 34, the internet is the number one time spent medium now. That's unbelievable in a very short period of time. Now, equally importantly, if you look at the, uh, the black line and the, what I'll call the purple line, the 35 to 54 and the 55 plus, they're actually growing very rapidly. They're showing even more rapid growth. So what is going to happen as we move forward here? Just think about it. It's going to get more and more prominent across all demographics. Having said that, and I think it's really important for me to say this, the sky is not falling. It's really important to understand how these things work together. So if we look at TV and internet, and I said a minute ago that TV does definitely have a skew older, the internet skews younger. So they're actually very complementary. How can you use that when you put content together and when you put ideas out there, how can you use that and use one to leverage the other? I would submit you can but you have to understand it in order to do that. And you have to accept that it's real. The other reality is that people will go wherever the content is. And, and my colleague and I, Brian Siegel, who's here with me today, love this chart because this, these are categories that we measure online. Music, newspapers, TV, and radio. They sound familiar? They're pretty traditional. But yet, we see across a number of demographic groups Traffic, unique visitors, well over a million, sometimes approaching three million unique visitors. So the distribution channel doesn't matter. They will find the content wherever it is. They will go there, and they will pursue it, and they will find it, and they will consume it. I think that's really important, and I think you know, to hear in the introduction that we don't have the digital plan that other countries have, to me, is a shame. Why? Because we, in a lot of ways, lead the world in digital and digital activity. And this chart really underlines that. In the top of the chart, we look at Canada as a, as a per capita, on a per capita basis in terms of the penetration. So how many people are online every month versus the population? It's now just around 70%. Of a lot of the other major countries we measure, that's well ahead of them. Then when we look at, in the bottom of the chart, what we would call the engagement metrics, the minutes per person reached, or the pages per person reached. So how much content are they actually consuming, and how much time are they spending? We're right at the top. Now, if that isn't an opportunity, I don't know what it is. What's driving that? Well, a lot of what's driving it recently is video. Canadians are rapidly spending more time viewing video online. At the top line, is total internet activity. So it's actually down a little bit over this period of uh, a couple, about a year, where a video is almost at 200% growth. So Canadians are consuming it intensely. And guess what? Guess who it is? The people who are consuming it are 2 to 17 year olds and 18 to 24 year olds and even 25 to 34 year olds. So if we look at minutes per viewer, which is the blue bar, or videos per viewer, which is the line bar or the line chart, the activity is intense. And it, it orients itself or skews itself to the younger groups. So given that, if we know that that's the landscape and we know that that's happening out there, what are the other forces that are going to act on what we have to do over the next um, number of years, months, weeks, in, as we move forward in, in the business we're all in? We have to understand some of the, the realities of what I would call technology changing audiences. So first of all, as it relates to social media, this is not a fad, folks. This is real. Um, I always think when I say that statement about people when I first came into digital measurement told me, I don't know why you're doing that. It's not going to ever be anything. I've heard that song before. People said that about social media too. And you look at it around the world, particularly in North America, this is developing audiences very quickly. Some say it will replace email in the not too distant future. That will be how people will communicate with each other. I don't know, my crystal ball is very foggy. I deal with what's actually happened, but this is a real, real vehicle for communication. When we look at traditional media sites in this country, and we look at a rather small brand called Facebook, Facebook 
they are already driving traffic to traditional media sites. So over a million, almost a million and a half to CTV Globe Media on a given month, 804,000 to Can West, half a million to CBC Radio Canada. Those are huge numbers of people being driven from Facebook to traditional media companies. This is a, definitely an eye chart, and there's a quiz after about the numbers on this chart. Um, the, the key here really is what we've done in the bars to your left is segment by heavy, medium, and light social media people. And I guess I would point your attention to the bottom line, which is we've looked at category of entertainment, and we've looked at heavy, medium, light social media. So 90% of entertainment vis visitors, the entertainment category, which you all work in, are also heavy social media, social networkers. The only other category that even comes close is technology. And those are some of the categories we measured down the uh, right-hand side of the chart. So there is no question that social media people and entertainment, there's a synergy there. There's an affinity there in terms of that category and the communication through social media, um, social media choices. Remember, though, don't make the mistake that it's all Facebook. Because different age groups have different communities. It's not that simple. It's not one size fits all. So we could talk about MySpace uh, for 2 to 17 or 18 to 24, or Facebook, which is now Facebook is so omnipotent, I think it's almost uncool to be in Facebook if you're younger, because some of the people like me are in it, and it's like, ugh, I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, but one of the more interesting things about this chart is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a community. It's a community that a lot of us in this room are in. And look at where its success is, 35 to 49. Right? So LinkedIn is also a community, a social network. All right, online video. Not only has it arrived, it's thriving. 90% of Canadians in a given month watch one video at least. They watch a lot more on average, but at least, nine, at least one. How does that compare to the other countries? You can see the chart. If we take a look at what's happening in terms of the entertainment category, now we break the entertainment category into, as you can see here, movies, music, news, humor, multimedia. Multimedia, that red line there, has been growing incredibly. One of the things that's driving that is this, another small brand in, in digital called YouTube. Um, they are certainly driving that red line on that screen. But what is that all about? That's about user content. That's about me putting video. That's about even companies and organizations. We were talking to a company just the other day, Brian and I, and they're going to do something on YouTube. Most, most unexpected company that I would ever thought would do it, but they're going to try it. So there is growth over 100% year over year in terms of people streaming video on entertainment sites. And the key is, and this is why it's so important for you guys, it's really driven by entertainment video. Entertainment is your business in whatever shape or form you put it out there. People are consuming that content in gobs in Canada. And again, back to the opportunity. There is an opportunity in this country. Really interesting to see that the success is coming from Canadian media properties. So on this chart, the dark blue line is CTV Globe Media, and then we have Can West Digital, Canoe, Chorus, and CBC. But if I just point your attention to the left-hand side, in the last year, there's been 140% growth in the number of videos being run in the entertainment category. Huge growth. And some of that growth is being driven by Canadian media properties. Now, we had a conversation last night that does not mean, before someone asks the question, that it's all Canadian content. It's content. It's good content. They will, drive, they will drive there as a consumer, and they will watch the content they want to watch. But it's a tremendous success story for some of these Canadian media properties. Those are massive increases. I think we'd all love to see those increases in our business. I'd take half of some of those increases. 